Hi team, welcome to your Money Magnet Activator video. Now, I know some of you already have this PDF, so you can follow along with me. If you don't already have it, I will drop the link in below so you can opt in and grab your own copy to go through this video with me. So what are we doing here in this Money Magnet Activator? Well, this is a beautiful little activity that you, journaling activity that you can do to help connect you into the state of magnetizing more wealth, more success, more power into your life as a change maker. So let's go into it. Because a lot of times when people when people are wanting to make some more money, right, wanting to make some more money, then they're wanting that extra money, but they're living and they're actually expanding that state of lack. So when you want to make more money, when you desire something, then you're already living in that state of lack. You're emanating this, the state of lack. So what we want to do is actually shift the way that you are emanating the radiance of your energetic field so that you can amplify your sense of abundance. So you can amplify your sense of, of all the things that you have and being so grateful for that. And then from that place of abundance and expansion, feeling and visioning and imagining where your life can expand to from this place of there is nothing missing, there is nothing lacking in this moment, and from this state of fullness, how can I overflow? How can I expand? And so that's what this money magnet activator is designed to do, is to help shift you from that state of lack into that state of expansive abundance. So come along for the ride with me. I'll gently take you through these activities and lead you through and just give you some, some guidance so that you can take the time to then go deeper with this on your own. It's really worth taking the time here. I'm recording this on the Aquarius full moon. So it's a perfect time to really sit into and really reflect on where you are now, all of the things in your life that you're grateful for, all of the challenges that you can be grateful for as well that are causing you to grow and showing you where you're, where you're being uh, creating out of unconsciousness and how you can expand. Oh, hi, everybody who's, who's joining in and giving me these beautiful hearts. I see you. I see you. So this money magnet activator will help you do three things. It's going to help you identify the limiting beliefs of your past so you can stop spinning your wheels, activate that magnetic presence by releasing the pain and energetic imprints that are stored in the body and raising your wealth resonance so you can avoid that roller coaster of feast and famine and start to really expand into long-term success. So wherever you are right now, working on these five pillars are going to really raise your frequency to amplify your confidence and really call in the impact that you're designed to make. So these first three pillars, power, presence and pleasure are the cause of magnetism, right? This is These are the three keys that really amplify your magnetism. And this is, this is one of those pieces that really, when you drop into deep presence, like really, <sighs> do it with me now, take a deep breath, let everything from the day drop away. Let everything from the week drop away. Let everything that's been before drop away and just ground into now. Imagine yourself as if you were a tree growing roots into the ground. And as you ground into this eternal moment now, really expanding that out breath, and letting your body let go. So as you're listening, take these deep, expansive breaths, expanding and focusing on that out breath to just let go. That's the first piece. If we are building and designing our future, 
when we're not fully present to what we have now, to all of the abundance that we have now, then we are just amplifying and spinning our wheels from a state of lack. So the first step is presence, really becoming present to who you are, what you are, where you are, when you are, how wild is it to be alive at this time? right? It's so, inc- it's so incredible to be alive in this planet at this time, in this moment, right? With all of these changes going on around us, this is the first time that we're really seeing this global consciousness starting to arrive on earth. And yes, a pandemic was probably what, you know, what kind of activated a part of it. And that comes with a lot of challenges, But there is a lot of opportunity too. There is a lot of love. There is a lot of grace. There is a lot of compassion that has been seen for people who are in distress. All of the the nurses and doctors who have worked around the clock to look after people. There is a global movement that is happening in all sorts of different fields to work together, to start to see ourselves as a global humanity. And this is a rising of consciousness. So being present to that is so powerful. So firstly, we want to think about releasing the past. We want to let go of those fears and stories, anything that you had about, you know, I grew up in a, in a household where my dad used to say things like money doesn't grow on trees, Kylie, right? Or, you know, you just have to work really hard and then maybe you could do something that you want later after. So what are some of the money stories just becoming aware from this state of presence In the now, how can we turn our attention to and spotlight our attention onto where are those stories from our past that have been creating unconsciously? You might have heard me say before, but it bears repeating. If there is anything in your life that you're experiencing right now that you wouldn't consciously choose, right? You wouldn't consciously choose to have chaos or debt or an unexpected tax bill or, you know, a lack of clients. If you wouldn't consciously choose that, then there is some part of your unconscious being, there's some part of your unconsciousness that has either bought into that or chosen that or co-created that with the universe, right? There's some part of you that has co-created that. Now, that's not to say that you're responsible and you're at fault for all of the things that are going on in your life, but there is some part of you that you can take responsibility for it, right? It is being created out of unconsciousness. So the first thing is from this state of presence, we want to draw and spotlight our consciousness on where we have been creating out of unconsciousness, right? Anything that you're not aware of, is going to be emanating out into the world that has been imprinted from your childhood. So getting really clear about it, just becoming conscious of it, like, huh, I wonder, like, what were the money stories that I learned as a child? What were some of the beliefs that I have about money? Starting to to get clear on that and taking the time to journal on it will really be helpful here. Here's the other piece. Where are you not honoring the wealth that already exists inside and all around you? Right? There is so much wealth that already exists inside you and all around you. A wealth of cells, a wealth of energy, a wealth of limbs and aliveness that is inside you right now. Right, When we tune into the aliveness and the abundance that is within us, the life force that is within us, then we can start to feel abundant and really radiate that frequency even if there might be no money in the bank account right? Even if there's there's debts and there's a limited amount in the bank account, then let's really tune into where the wealth is. And so tuning in and really filling out this life wheel, some of you might have done this before. It's a fabulous tool. You can do it hundreds of times. You know, I do it every month to check on my life and where it's at and notice how things are changing over time. Just going through and filling in, where are you now, right? Maybe Your money's not where you want it to be. Maybe it's down here. Career and business. What are some of the things when you look at where your life is, what's high, what's low? Working through this yourself just gives you a snapshot of where you're at right now. And instead of noticing and focusing on where you have, like say it's here, 
right? Say you're here in spirituality. Instead of focusing on all that is to go, focus on all that you have, right? Focus on all of the expansion of what you have already. And as you focus on what you already have and appreciate that, you can start to amplify it. So then we want to continue grounding into now with this visualization practice. So let's take a minute and do it right now. <sighs> so again, dropping into those roots, feeling those roots going deeply down into the earth, taking a minute to close your eyes. <sighs> taking that deep breath and imagining a beam of light just filling you up from above, pouring down through your body, filling up every one of your cells until you overflow with light, until you start to emanate light. And notice the roots down, deep down into the soil, connecting into the mycelium network and the, the network of plants and nourishment that exists in the earth. As you connect down into that, notice mm, that a tree never has to worry or wonder if it's taking too much. A tree just takes what it needs because it knows that as it grows and as it flourishes, it will provide shade and a space for little squirrels and possums to live in and birds to fly through and nest in. As that tree grows, it just expands. And so it doesn't need to worry, oh, am I taking too much? Or, oh, there's not enough to go around. It just soaks up what it needs and it thrives. All right, it soaks up what it needs and it thrives. And imagine your roots doing that now, just soaking up whatever you need from the earth, soaking up that nourishment from Mother Earth. Even if you never felt supported, even if you never had anyone encourage you in your entire life, which I highly doubt, but even if that were the case, Mother Nature, Mother Earth is still hugging you close with gravity. The earth is always still supporting you with your next breath, with that next sunrise, with the food that you eat, right? All of that comes from this beautiful planet that we call home. So tuning into the abundance that exists all around us allows us to start to shift our frequency, allows us to start to emanate gratitude and appreciation and that becomes a money magnet. That allows us to then be abundant. And as we are feeling that expansion and enoughness and overflow, we become an attractor for more enoughness, right? We become an attractor for more. Whereas when we're radiating lack, we attract more lack, right? We attract more experiences that reinforce that lack. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I've got a little written reminder of that visualization to take you back so that you can do that at any time you want to. <sighs> so now tuning in to your energetic field, right? Noticing all of the power centers in your body. We have an incredible, incredible tool, the spiral that allows us to liberate the stuck energetic frequency that lives in the, our power centers in our body. One of our amazing spiral practitioners can help with that, or we can teach you how to become a spiral practitioner as well. You can ask about our trainings. So now from this place of abundance and expansion, now we want to vision a brilliant future, right? And that what's not coming from lack, it's coming from abundance and overflow. So now we want to start to shift into getting clear on, well, where am I now? Where am I now really in my, in my life, in my bank balance, in the clients that I'm working with, in the offers that I'm making? And where do I want to go? Right? What do I want from my present state to my desired state? Where do I want to go? What do I want to expand into? What do I desire to create for myself? Starting to get really clear about this creates a GPS destination for your unconscious. Right. If you think about when you type in and you get in your car and you're going to someplace new, you don't just say somewhere over there. You don't just give the general region of the suburb. You give an exact address. 
right? Exact coordinates of where you want to go. And so that's what we need to do. We need to vision a brilliant future that has the exact coordinates of where we want to go. And you might say, Kylie, well, I don't know exactly where I want to go. That's okay. You do know something. So as we look to our horizon, we might be able to only see a certain, you know, a certain number of things, right? But as we get closer, we can get more focus. And as we get closer, we start to see more clearly and new things come into focus. And we might go, oh, I'm going over here. Actually, I want to go over here. Or, oh, I'm going there. Oh, no, now there's a further thing that I want to go for. So it's okay for your vision to change and expand and shift as you get closer to it. But it's okay also to just know where you want to go from here and take that next step. So being honest with yourself about where you want to go and what you really want, right? What is your soul desire to expand into, right? What is your soul desire to expand into? Because if you can think it, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. It is possible if you take action, right? If you take action, you wouldn't have that dream. Your your higher self, your soul wouldn't drop that little dream into your head if you didn't have the capacity to lean into that, to grow into that. So being honest with yourself about where you want to go, right? When you tune into what would need to shift in all of those areas of your life, what would it look like? What would a 10 out of 10 in your spirituality look like? What would a 10 out of 10 in your health and fitness look like? What would a 10 out of 10 in your wealth look like, in your career, in your friends, in your family, your relationships, your own personal growth and your hobbies and your recreation, your time of fun? What would that look like? Like, let's get specific. What does it look like? Start to vision it out. You might find that when you do, you're closer than you think, right? You might find that, oh, you know, I actually am pretty, I'm pretty close here on this. I already have so many amazing things going on and that can cause you to feel even more appreciation. And then it highlights, oh, these are, these are the places where I'm missing. These are the places where I need to take some action or I need to make some changes in my behaviors to take that next step, to move towards that thing that I really want. So what are the resources that you already have that can support you in achieving this? And what's the one thing that you can choose today to move the needle forward in that area? right? In that one area that is your focus, it might be wealth. It might, you might go through the list and go, you know what? I actually need to work on my health first. And as I expand my health, I know that it's going to be good for my business as well. (sighs) So let's take a little pause. How are you traveling so far? We want to expand and open up these new possibilities for you. The more you can vision and really lean into where you're headed and visioning and architecting this brilliant future for yourself. The more you create and fine tune that template and come from that state of loving abundance and trust, the more you will align yourself to the frequency of that reality, right? And so when we create that presence and power and pleasure, right? We want to create pleasure in our bodies to amplify that magnetism, that confidence, that joy, that passion. And from that place, we start to tune into our mission, right? From that place of enoughness, we start to go, oh, now I've got the worth and the the wealth to help someone else. Now I can see that there's things in the world that I'd like to make a difference to, or I have skills that I can help with. And that can start to be a guide for your offers, right? And so as you expand your magnetism, your mission, your mastery, continually mastering yourself, your own self-mastery and your skills and your business skills, right? Your coaching or change maker skills and your business skills. As you continue to expand all of those together, you will become a magnet for more and more wealth and more and more abundance. So we're at, oh, I meant to do it this for 10 minutes and we're at 20 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up. So you guys are already in our Facebook group. If you're not already in our Facebook group, come and join us now. The link is here. We have the incredible Super Coach Academy, which is the number one place for soul-led coaches and change makers who want to grow this abundance mindset to shift their skills and really connect with 
a team of amazing, amazing coaches that just support you and cheerlead you on and encourage you. And we coach each other and we practice our skills and we become the best humans we can possibly be to bring our offers into the world. So if you'd like to find out about that, then make sure you book in your Super Coach Confidence Breakthrough Call with myself, Bianca and our team to be able to find out what's the next right thing for you. We can also, we have an incredible array of certifications that we can tell you about on the call. So if you'd like to find out about that, you can just talk to Bianca. Absolute pleasure to share this moment with you now with your, ooh, let's go all the way back here with your money magnet activator. I'm so glad you've joined me. Let me know in the comments below, what was your key takeaway? Make sure maybe over this weekend, you could work on and really take some time, light a candle, get real, like make your favorite cup of tea, give yourself the time to really expand into this. I've just given you a little taster, but I want you to take the time to really drop in, to really vision this. You deserve it. You deserve this time to vision your future. Remember that if you're not creating it consciously, it's going to be created out of your unconsciousness. It's going to be created out of your past and that will just perpetuate that unconsciousness. So bringing the light of your mind, your awareness, your heart into your visions, into where you want to head is going to help you lead the life that you desire, the very best life as your soul moves through you. Thank you for sharing this beautiful moment with me today. (sighs) Let me know what you took away in the comments below. And if you haven't already got this PDF, I'll drop the link there so you can grab it and work through it yourself. Lots of love, you guys. Happy full moon. And I'll see you on the other side. Bye.